At 17th and Broadway, you have a black male fan, six foot one, wearing a camouflage jacket, a uh, trucker's hat, light blue and white. So we got uh, uh, information from uh, the flag unit, um, which is a task force uh, fugitive unit, and they were they got information that there was a suspect out of New Jersey who had a felony warrant, full extradition out of 48 states, wanted um, was considered armed and dangerous and had violent tendencies. He escaped. Um, while being transported from prison to a uh, dentist office. 44 and 42, we're at uh, 16th and Broadway. We can't sit here and see if he comes our way. Also, uh, yeah, guys, uh, if you get close, you can tell for sure it's not him. Um, you don't need a muscle. I just can't see his face. Claire, I think I got him right on the corner of 17th in front of the UMB bank. Yeah, I've got him. That our, This guy looks a little old to be our guy. Yeah, he's way too old and uh, escaped and fled from New Jersey out here in Colorado. The suspect stated to me that he'd been out here for about six weeks. But um, so we got information that he was going to be at one of the uh, homeless shelters uh, that the church, one of the churches out here provides housing right, for. And um, so they were requesting some uniform presence. They had several detectives working in plain clothes capacity, but they needed some uniform presence to come out and assist with the pickup. We sat for a very long time and waited um, on the outskirts of the area where he was supposed to arrive to. The undercover detectives observed him enter the location that they had received the information he was staying at. Um, once inside, we all went in and um, the detectives took him into custody without incident. Um, we then transported him to headquarters where he was booked in. Um, New Jersey is already notified and they'll be out here in a couple days to extradite him. Another bad guy off the streets um, and definitely he said that he wasn't going to be coming back to Colorado.